Hi there, after understanding about the set notation, now we will see that how various operations can be undertaken. For example, if we consider the three major operations that work with the sets, they are union, intersection and complement. We start with union which is the first one and in union we can see that it is quite similar to addition as we do in algebra. However, when we see that certain elements are being repeated between A and B that are here in this overlapping area, what we do is we write them once only and not more than once, regardless of their multiple presence in the set. Um, U is representing the universal set as we usually see. This is basically the Venn diagram attributed to Venn and this diagram can tell us about the union of two sets that is A and B. Now uh, it's a process of writing the element either from A or B when they are occurring together. This is the way we write it A union B. Um, green shaded area shows the union of A and B all those elements are written once. You can see these are the two sets. What we can see is that 3 and 5 they are being repeated as well as 1. So these three elements they are being repeated but in the union we will write them once only that is 1, 3 and 5. So this is the decorum of union that we write all the members but once no matter they are appearing multiple times. Uh, we can also write it in this notation which shows that A union B is when x such that x is an element of A or x is an element of B. So it means that it needs to be present either in this or that, that is the two sets. Uh, it's not necessary that uh, the element is present in both of the sets. So this was the description method, this was the enumeration method. Now we come to the other operation which is intersection and in the intersection what we get is the common factor we write them not all of them but only the common factors it is represented with this inverted u and if we take the intersection of the two this will be the common members and we can see that these are the common members 1 3 and 5 so uh, when we write it in the description method we can see that a and B and both of these sets X should occur at the same time so coincidence is required that is intersection is required now Venn diagram for this would be something like this here you can see the overlapped area is green area and we will only consider the members in this area that is they will exist both in A and B not just in A not just in B but both in A and B. Now this was the uh, second operation, the third one is complement and this is simply the difference and it is quite synonymous to subtraction that is we do in our algebra. So we take the larger set which is known as the universal set which contains all of the members of the smaller set and some additional members as well. When we denote the complement of a set, we represent it with this tilde or this prime. So these are two ways of writing it. Some people write it as uh, A, C, where C is in the subscript showing that it is a complement. Now we take this example, you can see 0 till 9, this is the universal set. A is from 1 to 5. When we take the difference, we will drop these common elements because they will be uh, deducted as we do in algebra. So 0 and from 6 to 9 these are the elements that will be left and here you can see the complement. So when we write it in uh, descriptive method we write it like this that x when x is an element of u and x is not an element of a. As you can see all these uh, elements they are not existing in a they are other than the elements of a. So here we are uh, the A prime that is the A complement. We also need to consider the Venn diagram of the complement. Now we can understand that uh, from the union that is the whole area we have chalked out this area which is the area of set 
A whereas B is as it is and after the deduction or chucking out of this area we are left with this green area and it is known as A bar it is not just outside these two circles or sets this is also inside the circle B or set B in this domain where it is shaded B not in the domain where there is circle of the set A so in this way we can find out the complement of A and uh, this was about complement and before it we did the intersection the Venn diagram the numerical and then uh, we can see that we did talk about the union of the sets as well with the help of diagram as well as a numerical so in this way we have understood the various operations that are done when it comes to sets in subsequent parts we will see that how these things can be done in economics as well. Thank you.